Not a miracle machine, but sufficient. HP's Omen 16 with AMD's Ryzen processor is sparing in its use of gaming components. Top performance thus can't be expected, but this is not strictly necessary in that case of many popular gaming titles. Moreover, the fun does not stop upon seeing the price even if a few weakness come to light in the test. Like many current competitors, the HP Omen uses a 16-inch display, hence the gaming notebook is reasonably portable and still offers a pleasantly large picture at the same time. Either Full HD or QHD can be selected as the resolution size. As for the processor, this comes in the form of an AMD Ryzen, of which the bandwidth ranges from Ryzen 5 to Ryzen 9, alongside the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 which was used in our test for the predecessor HP Omen 16B0085NG. There is also the AMD Radeon RX 6600M. This is what our test device uses in combination with the AMD Ryzen 7 5800H. In terms of performance, the gaming notebook is roughly equivalent to an HP Victus 16 or an MSI Alpha 15 which like the HP Omen 16 currently cost around 1300 euros near about 1400 dollar. One subtle difference remains, saving power is definitely not among the, its strengths. This had a few noticeable effects on our test results. Let's have a look at the specification of HP Omen 16 C0079G, it's Omen 16 series. It has AMD Ryzen 7 5800H. 8 into 3.2 to 4.4 GHz processor, graphics adapter is AMD Radeon RX 6600M, memory is 16 GB, display is 16.10 inch, that's IPS display 165Hz, main board is AMD Promontory Bixby FCH, storage is Samsung PM981A 1024GB, that's 1TB. Weight is 2.25 kg and price is around 1700 euro. Apart from the hinges, the notebook's exterior is made of plastic. The stability of the construction suffers as a result. While the slightly yielding keyboard frame is hardly noticeable, the large display seems a bit too bendy. In particular, opening it with one hand bends the screen unnecessarily. An aluminium cover, like in many business notebooks, could have helped here. Overall, the build leaves a high-quality impression, all parts fit together nicely and have even gaps. The possibilities of for torsion are limited, but HP could have made the display frame a little more rigid. The hinges also seem a little too weak, so that the screen ovals, but it can still be opened with one hand at the same time. The large format is due to the 16-inch display, even the slim display ages can only compensate for this to a limited extent so that standard laptop bags or notebook backpacks may be too tight. In terms of case thickness, the HP Woman 16 is 3mm thicker than its predecessor. It also outperforms other gaming laptops with similar performance values due to the particularly large cooling system which protrudes from the case in the rear area of the base. The advantage of all the plastic is relatively low weight of 2.25 kg. The choice between three different monitor outputs is commendable with USB-C, Mini-DP and HDMI. There is something for almost every external display. Thanks to DP 1.4 and HDMI 2.1, monitors with more than 4K resolution can also be connected. USB ports on both the left and right of the case allow almost everything on the decks to be connected without any problems. However, the distance between the individual connections is sometimes very tight. The two USB ports on the right are only separated by a width of 4mm. While the number of ports seems very practical, the speed of USB-A in particular is a downside. All three ports only reach 5 gigabits and and thus only USB 3.0 standard. At least the USB-C connection manages 10 gigabit per second, but compared to Thunderbolt 4 in particular, which is not supported here, this is only a fraction of what is currently technically possible. The card reader's speed tested with our AV Pro Micro SD 128GB V6 reference memory card could be significantly higher. However, those who are not exactly ambitious hobby photographers will hardly notice the shortcoming. 
In addition to the Landford Wi-Fi 6 is also available link like in the HP Victor 16, a Realtek Wylan card is used here which in our test was roughly average for this kind of hardware. But since the HP Woman 16 is in the entry level segment of gaming netbooks, this should suffice. However, a look at the average of all the gaming laptops in our review shows that the throwout rates are usually much higher. The resolution and color accuracy of the HP Oman 16 webcam meet the minimum requirements at best, though this is common practice in this segment. There is no hidden screws, no firmly anchored plastic chips. After loosening the 8 screws, a little thinness is required to remove the base plate, but a flat pry tool never hurts. Afterwards, all crucial spots are easily accessible for cleaning the ventilation or changing the battery, which is screwed at 6 points. Two RAM slots are available for upgrading possibilities. Another NVMe SSD can be inserted into the unequipped M2 slot. The WLAN module, which is installed a little too close to the heat pipe for our test, can also be replaced. The keyboard appears to be completely geared towards gaming, even if the downstroke of only 1mm seems shallow for demanding user, the non safe surprise and the in and the appropriate distance between the keys ensure fast and accurate input. Instead of the number field of the right side, there are arrow keys that have been given a lot of space. Unfortunately, the arrangement directly above it looks a little chaotic, which is initially particularly irritating. The delete and power keys aren't exactly where we'd expect them to be. The quick access to the Omen gaming hub with power control, color control, and the practical extras for games is conspicuously placed. The keyboard lighting is very nice to look at. Here, how However, some things have been cut back, there are only 4 zones available which can shine in 18 different colors only after installing Omen Light Studio are a few additional motion profiles added which are generally oriented towards sound playback or the contents of the display. Due to the limited color selection and the fact that only 4 colors are shown at a time, the effects appeared rudimentary and the static display with the separate WASD case on the other hand looks very good. In all likelihood, one is likely to use the HP Woman 16 with a separate mouse, but the touchpad is quite convincing, it spawns promptly and the matte yet smooth surface allows for precise control even with multiple fingers. Of course, a few buttons below would have been even better, but uninteresting for full-blooded gamer with oscillating gaming mice anyway. In addition to the QHD display with 2560 by 1440 pixels used here, HP also offers a full HD panel with a diagonal screen measurement of 16.1 inches for the woman 16. Due to its size, the choice of a higher resolution seems reasonable since the screen looks like a 27 inch desktop monitor that also stands 27 inches away. Furthermore, the Full HD version only offers 144Hz, whereas the larger variant offers 165Hz. Whether this difference is actually perceptible is another question altogether. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to share with your friends. Subscribe us to get latest news regularly.